Hey guys, so uh, I would like to make a video that would that explains how to memorize a beginner's algorithm for solving the Rubik's Cube. The purpose is not so much to teach you the algorithm, I will post a link that will uh, explain the algorithm itself in detail. This is really just um, to provide a pneumatic device to help you memorize the, the mechanism. So, uh, the, the way to help you memorize is through a story. The story goes like this. You live in a chaotic world. Nothing is in order. Everything is messed up, like this cube here. And uh, the only way to restore order to this world is uh, to find the magic gold. By the way, uh, try to picture the story in your head as vividly as possible because that will help you memorize it. The way to find the magic gold is to locate, it, locate the magic well, which is inside a magic house, which you must build in, uh, on a very specific location. And the way to find the location is to follow the magic daisy flower. I know it all sounds very random, but follow me, please. Okay, so, so you set out to find the daisy, like so. There, you found the magic daisy with a yellow middle and uh, four white petals on the outside. Following the, uh, following the magic daisy, you quickly located uh, the location where you can build a magic house. And the location is marked with a white X or a white cross. Now, you found the site of the magic house. Now you gotta build its foundation. So some of it is there already. What you gotta do now is um, put the, the corner stones in, into that foundation. And the way you lay the corner stone is first you gotta locate the right stone at the right place. Uh, in this case, this stone up here will, will work for us. We gotta look for the right place for it though. It's a blue and orange stone. So we gotta find the blue and orange corner, which is right here, blue and orange. So we put that stone over uh, the blue and orange corner, and then we perform a special move, which we will use over and over again. So please try to perfect it in your own practice. It's called the trigger. The trigger goes like this. You Flip the top, uh, right side, top back, right side again. And after we've performed that trigger move, it will have put the cornerstone in the right place. Okay, here we see another stone that will work. That is a, a, a cube that has a white corner face there. We're gonna put it in the right location, which it happens to already be at the right location. It's a green and orange corner, and we found the green and orange corner to put it in. So again, we performed the trigger move, and that put that stone in the right place. Great, just two more to go. Uh, okay, so this one will work as well. It's a red and green stone. We want to put it on the red and green corner, which is down here. Notice that uh, the location of this one is on the upper left. So instead of doing the right trigger as we did before, we did a left trigger, which is just a mirror image of the one before. So you go flip the top, flip the side, top back, side back. Bam. And that has been put in the right place. Okay, so this cornerstone is stuck on the bottom, but it's oriented wrongly. So we'll have to perform the trigger a couple times just to uh, put it in the right place. So I performed the trigger once to pull it up and now it's situated well uh, To be put put down again Again, this is on the uh, upper left. So I will use the left trigger now All the cornerstones have been put in place the whole foundation is now laid So we have a good foundation now for the house The next step is to build the wall of the house which is this uh, second layer, this middle layer. 
<clears throat> and the way to build the, the wall is the following. It's a rather peculiar magical house. So what you gotta do is, uh, whatever, whatever piece of wall material you find, first you gotta bring it to the right location. So this, this wall piece here is uh, orange and blue. And I wanna put it right here in the orange and blue, on the orange and blue wall. So the way you got to do it is, you hold that piece of material, hold it over your head, and then you hurl it in the opposite direction where you want to put it. Let me show you what I mean. So this piece of wall here, you're trying to put it down here, which is to your right, but instead of putting it to your right, you want to hurl it in the opposite direction, to your left. So follow me please. Using the trigger move again, I flip it this this, this piece here to the left, perform the, the trigger. So we do, we do that once. What that will do is when you hurl the stone, it's actually going to kick up one of the cornerstones, which is right here. You see that the, the cornerstone has been kicked up. It used to be on the bottom. It got kicked up to the top. So what you got to do is uh, simply locate it, which will involve rotating your cube to find it and then just simply uh, put it back down using the trigger move that we already perfected in the last round. So you go like that. That puts the cornerstone back in and that also puts the wall piece to where it should be. Pretty nice. Okay, so let's keep going. Here's another piece of wall. It's a green and red wall. So we're gonna First of all, bring it to the right location, match up the middle piece with the green. <clears throat> um, so we, we hold it overhead, which is the this upper location here, and then we hurl it in the opposite direction. We're trying to bring it to the left, so uh, in our move we've got to hurl it to the right using a trigger move. There it is. and then. Uh, it kicked up a cornerstone, which we simply put back down with another trigger move. There. I put the cornerstone back, and I put the wall in place. Fantastic. We're making good progress. Uh, let's see, is there another wall? There it is. The blue and red wall. We can use that. We're trying to put it over here, which is to the right. But we're going to hurl it in the opposite direction, using a trigger move. That kicks up a cornerstone, which we've got to put back in with a trigger move. There. The blue and red wall is there. Very good. Uh, yep, there's just one piece of wall left, which is the green and orange. We're trying to put it to our right, to the green and orange side of the wall. So we hurl it in the opposite direction, like so. It kicks up a cornerstone, which we put back in. All right, so we have now solved the second layer. We have built the entire wall of the magic house. Okay, once you build the magic house, you're finally ready to enter it. And the way you enter it is, um, <clears throat> you're looking for this big golden crank. It's, uh, it's shaped like a cross. It's a crank that you can turn. Uh, in this case, the crank is already there, so we got lucky. Uh, but I want to show you how to find the crank if it's not already there. And here's the way you do it. So, what you gotta do is, you open the door, so to speak, which is, you take the front face of the cube, turn it to the right, oops, turn it to the right, that's opening the door, and then you perform a, a trigger move. Uh, on the right side. So trigger like so. And then you gotta close the door back in like that. Okay, so that gives us a golden bar. Uh, you can ignore the corner pieces for now. It gives us a golden bar. That um, That's just one of the steps uh, before we can get to the, the, the golden cross. So you gotta do it a few, two, a few times. And you gotta orient it uh, until you you find the shapes you're looking for. So sometimes you'll um, end up 
with a golden bar vertical, that's okay. You, all you gotta do is turn it horizontal and then you can proceed. When you see the golden bar, that's good. That's one step closer. We just do the whole step again. I'll open the door, do the trigger move, and close the door. All right. So, um, the the shape we're looking for now is this this little uh, I, I call it a nine o'clock. So again, ignore the corners. If you look at the yellow pieces here, it looks like a clock showing nine o'clock. So this is how I memorize it. You come upon the magic house. You uh, do your move with the opening and closing of the door to find the golden bar which is a step closer, but it's not quite the time yet. The time is 9 o'clock. So you do it one more time until 9 o'clock shows up. When you see 9 o'clock, you know the time is close. The time is nigh for you to find the big uh, cross-shaped golden crank. So 9 o'clock uh, means that you're, you're close. So you simply do the move again. Open the door. Do the trigger on the right and then close the door. Aha! So that gave us our golden crank. Again, ignore the corner pieces. This gives us our golden crank. Very good. Okay, so now we're trying to match up the side pieces of the golden crank. Uh, the, the top looks all good now, but the side aren't always matched up. So in this case, the blue side is good. It's matched up with the center piece. The red side is good, uh, but the other two sides are mismatched. So here's what we gotta do. Uh, we gotta crank the golden crank until the side pieces match up. So uh, the move I'm about to show you will swap uh, the two pieces here, the left piece and the bottom piece. So make sure you orient your cube in a way uh, to put the pieces you're trying to swap at those locations. So in this case, I'm trying to swap the orange with the green so I put that on the bottom and left sides of the cube. The move goes like this. <clears throat> There's a latch on the right side of the crank that releases the crank. So you, you gotta latch it every time you crank it. So you go latch, crank, latch, crank, latch, crank, crank, latch, crank. So uh, that gives us now all the matching side pieces. So you, you just gotta memorize that, that pattern. Latch, crank, latch, crank, latch, crank, crank, latch, crank. That's kind of rhythmic. Okay, great. So we're actually getting very close. Uh, the side pieces are matched up. As, as you uh, crank the golden crank, a ladder descended right in front of your eyes and landed right in front of you. So now you gotta climb up that ladder. But it's a scary looking ladder that looks rather precarious. So as you climb, you can't help but look left and look to the right. Just to kind of see what's going on around you. So <clears throat> this is the ladder climbing move. Uh, in order to climb the ladder, first you gotta start with, uh, well, if you have a corner that's already in the right color, right place. In this case, uh, this corner piece is already in the right place and it's oriented correctly. That's a nice bonus. But the important thing is make sure that it's in the right location. So the, the orange and green corner is where it should be, orange and green. This one is mismatched, misplaced. So is that one and so is that one. That's okay. Uh, if you do have one that's in the right place, then put that one correct one in the bottom right corner of your cube and then perform the ladder algorithm. The ladder algorithm goes like this. You look to the left, you climb. You look to the right, you climb. You look to the left again, you climb back down. You look to the right again, you climb back down. Okay, let's see how we did. So the one on the bottom right corner is still in the right place, that's fine. Uh, but the rest are still mismatched. Well, that's okay, because we might have to perform the ladder a few times. 
So look to the left, climb. To the right, climb. Look to the left, climb down. Look to the right, climb down. Let's see how we did this time. The right bottom right is still in the right place. This one is now uh, in the right location and it's oriented correctly. That's a nice bonus. This one is in the right location. It's uh, the blue and red corner. It's where it should be. It's just not oriented correctly, but that's okay. We'll get to that. And this one is also in the right location. Great, we're getting very close. As you finish climbing the ladder, you finally come upon the magic well. Uh, at the well, you perform the following move. Okay, so you take the stone you're trying to turn into gold, which is this corner that you're trying to orient correctly, uh, you plunge it into the well. Now notice the following move is basically a rotated trigger move, so try to follow me. You plunge into the well, you hear some kind of churning going on in the well, uh, in the bottom of the well, and then you bring it back up. But you gotta do it uh, at least two times, maybe four times. So, so that's two times, but still it's not oriented correctly. So, so we gotta go the four times. Let's do that. Aha! That is four times, and we're now oriented correctly. So now you turn the top layer like so to present the next stone you're trying to plunge into the well. So you plunge into the well, hear the water churn, bring it back up, the water churns again. You gotta do it at least two times. And that's it! Everything is turned into gold and this order is restored in the world. Congratulations! So I hope that helps. Uh, if you like it, like the video and leave a comment below. Thank you.